Hello, and my name is Betsy Afton, or Yoga Betsy, and I'm going to have some fun stuff with you here to do. It's called Joints and Glands Exercises. And just have a seat, and we'll have some fun here. And mostly it's just you very gently are going to be working the parts, the two parts of the body there where you have the most joints, which is your hands and your feet. I'm going to start with your hands first. So let's start up nice and tall. And let's kind of breathe. Use that yoga breath here. Inhale, tummy ribs out. Exhale, tummy in to kind of settle down. Uh, we're going to do some right brain, left brain stuff here, all right? Uh, again, very good for mental clarity and uh, just general health. So I want your palms out, one hand up and down, and the other hand side to side, which is kind of like patting your tummy and rubbing your head. And if it makes you laugh, that's even better. <laughs> okay. And just kind of play with that. Now stop. Other hand up and down, the other hand side to side. If this is not the side you're right with, it might be harder. I don't know. Just play with that. On this side, we always do the best we can on either side. Don't try to force the stiffer, weaker side to do the same as the other side. It's not necessary. Shake things out a little bit. I want you to rub your hands. And kind of your feeling focuses on your hands here as best you can. Shake them out. One palm up, one palm down. Squeeze. Two three, focus on your hands, four, you can close your eyes if you want, five, to get into the feel of it, six, seven, squeeze, eight, nine, 10, 11, focus, 12, your hands, 13, use your thumb, 14, 15, should feel good, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, shake your hands out, now flip them over, do it the other way, one, just to the point of a good stretch always, two, Three, use your thumb. Four, five, six, seven, eight, should feel good. Nine, use your thumb. 10, 11, 12, 13, squeeze. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, squeeze. 19, 20, shake your hands out. Feel that energy build a little bit between the palms there. That is for real. Can't be seen with the naked eye, but it can probably be felt. Hands up, gently spread your fingers, circle around, not too fast, not too slow. Focus on what you feel. Should never hurt. Feel free to adapt or modify as you go along so you feel that good stretchy feeling. Keep breathing, please. Sit up comfortably tall. So if you're good, might feel it here snap, crackle, pop, but it should never hurt. There's no joint fluid coming out. There's really nothing to be concerned about. If it hurts, stop. Uh, go just to the point of a good stretch there. Now go the other way, which will feel differently. Uh, do what you can comfortably here. Maybe you have to slow down a little bit. You've got to modify. Keep breathing. Should feel good. That's it. Nice big yoga breaths. And up and down. It's like you're waving goodbye. You spread your fingers. There you go. Should feel good. You want to try it? You want to start again? No. No? Okay. Keep going. So feel good. Again, I really recommend you do these every day. They're very, very gentle, but very effective. Gently side to side. Don't your wipers. And you're still kind of trying to exaggerate the move, kind of trying to spread your fingers, press through the palms. There we go. And place them on your keyboard. You can use your arms here if you want. Get a little deeper into the thumbs and the, the knuckles there. So feel good. Good. All right, back to stationary. These are called bear claws. Gently circle again how much to curl, how fast, how slow to go. That's up to you. It's a feeling thing, not a looking thing. Keep breathing. What's your focus? You feel what you feel as you feel it. You kind of go with the flow of it. Yeah, a little chronic sensitivity there. Don't let go the other way. Start out small and easy. Keep breathing. You should feel good, but different in this direction. You're not pushing or forcing anything there. That's counterproductive. That should feel good. Keep breathing. Open and squeeze. Open and squeeze. Open and squeeze. Shake, 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 shake. One hand up. The other hand, gently bring your finger to the back of the hand. Nice and easy here. Not too fast, not too slow. If one finger's stiffer, you feel free to work it a bit longer, not harder, longer. Uh, it should feel good. That's it. Enjoy your stretch. It should feel good all the way through here. It should feel great afterwards. Again, I really recommend you do these every day. Uh, we're promoting joint fluid production along with strength and flexibility, uh, greater grip strength, and greater hand eye coordination. So, a lot of subtle healing things going on here. And uh, the more you do this, uh, the better you, uh, results you're going to get. 
uh, complimenting on anything else you like to do. Hold hand stretch, you can do it here, 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 here. Whatever feels good to you, but lengthening is strengthening. If you're interested in building a bit of muscle tone. All right, now take this hand and drop it on your knee and flip this hand around. So it's kind of thumb down. You kind of point your fingers towards your tummy. This hand, thumb up, gently push or push in and down and work the fingers or whatever feels good. You're going to make a box with the hand that went thumb down. But drop your shoulders. You're still sitting comfortably tall. Should feel good. Nice little massage and wiggle. Keep breathing. But mostly you focus on what you feel here. Nice stretch here. Go by what you feel. I can't begin to touch my thumb to my arm. This is my stretch point, and that's a feeling thing, not a looking thing. So, whatever feels good to you here is fine. And a nice stretch here. I'm going to do a lot of muscle balancing here. Uh, the hand tends to move like this. All right, this shortens this muscle, it lengthens this muscle too long. So, we're lengthening this muscle and shortening that muscle, and bringing everything back into balance a little bit. And shake it out. All right, other side, start with your pinky, work inward. And again, whatever you can do comfortably on this side is fine. And you're not too fast, not too slow. And breathe. Yeah, that's it. And again, your focus might drift. Bring it right back to what you feel and you feel it. There you go. And breathe. Okay, work one finger longer if you need to. Nice easy pace is going to get you the most benefit, absolutely. Whole hand stretch here, 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 whatever, lots of options. Keep breathing. Okay, take this hand here and drop it down, flip this hand around, thumb down, this hand thumb up, push or push it in and down, or make a box with the other side there with the hand and the thumb down. And that should feel good in this direction. Please keep sitting tall, keep breathing. And a nice massage. There you go. Keep breathing. Should feel good on this side, but different, but still good. That's it. And stretch here. Again, go by what you feel. I can't touch my thumb on this side either. Who cares? This is my stretch point. It feels good to me. And that's what I'm gently working with. And that's uh, what we do in all my yoga classes, all my Tai Chi classes, all my meditation classes here. It's uh, what you can do comfortably. Not too little, not too much. So it's kind of your experience uh, that you're kind of building here, working with the, your own body feedback in a good way. And a nice stretch here. And breathe. Uh, so remember, 50% of your joints are you know, in the hands of 50 out of 206. That's a lot. <laughs> so this should help with arthritis. So you're building uh, more muscle tone here. It uh, moves the uh, hands, the muscles around the joints more comfortably. You're, promoting more joint fluid, uh, provide a little uh, uh, supportive cushioning if some of the cartilage has been worn away there. You can be able to move more comfortably with uh, a little more of that joint fluid helping you uh, not feel, uh, you know, things rubbing together a little bit. Good, shake it out a little bit. So now we're gonna work on our feet. So sit up any way you like, you can hold onto the chair, whatever you wanna do. Remember this thing we just did with our hands, we're gonna do it with our feet. So feet comfortably out. Flex the feet. You can hold on if you need to. One foot up and down, the other foot side to side. So try that. Might be a little harder. I'm sitting on a rotating chair here. Foot up and down. Good. Stop. Okay, I'm going to have to stabilize myself here. Other side. Other foot up and down, and the other foot side to side. Flex the feet. See what you can do with that. It's supposed to be challenging. <laughs> There we go, and shake it out a little bit. Now you can keep the feet on the floor to circle. You can put your feet on a, like a pillow or you can have the feet gently out. Let's circle around, breathe, sit tall, and really focus on your feet now. Some people can fan their toes, like you can spread your fingers, I can't. Uh, if that's your stretch point and it feels good to you, feel free to do that. That's a genetic thing, don't worry about it. If you can't do it, I can't do it. I'm getting a great stretch just like this. Now go around the other way. And breathe. There we go. Feel good the other way, but different. Uh, if your focus drifts, you just go, oops, monkey mind. And focus right back to what you feel as you feel it. And yeah, up and down, getting a nice stretch up your shins, your legs. Not too fast, not too slow. Again, I'm just your resource person here. And you modify according to what you're comfortable doing all times, please. There we go. If you like pedal a little bit, getting different angles of the foot and the legs there. 
keep breathing, but we'll see your focus is on your feet, the ankles, shins, you can have something. If you like, kind of side to side. If that bothers you, go back to pedaling. There we go. Breathe in. Good, shake it out a little bit. All right, now what I want you to do is kind of scoot forward. And this is called going to the beach. All right, and kind of scoop a little pile of sand in. So you're gonna curl your toes under your legs, just go where it's comfortable. You can hold on to your chair or whatever, but pretend you're at the beach and scoop a little pile of sand in. I want you to curl your toes under comfortably, arch the foot, all right, drag the foot. If you're on carpet, you're hitting some of those acupuncture points and reflexology points there, very stimulating. Remember all the um, nerve endings in the body and in your feet and hands, so we're gonna have a nice energetic booster and it should feel good. Now feet together, stagger the ankle bones if you need to, but uh, push your little pile of sand apart. We always try to leave our places that we go to uh, better than how we found them. So we're gonna spread it, you know, just push our little pile of sand apart and stagger the feet as necessary. You don't have to do this in bare feet. You can do it in your socks. You can have your shoes on, all right? Uh, completely up to you, but it should feel good. Here we go. And shake things out a little bit. Now just sit comfortably. This is called balanced breathing. This is just to give you a nice little relaxation at the end of our, our joints and glands uh, session here. So your legs just go comfortably apart and left foot over the right. All right, now you may be seeing me in reverse image there, but let me tell you, it's left foot over the right, right hand over the left, clasp the hands down under, over and around, and just drop them down. If that bothers you, you're just going to take your hands and hold them like that. But if you can't, cross the wrist there, and then palms together. Good. Get a grip, scoop down under, over, and around, and just drop them where they feel comfortable. I'll keep track of your time here. Close your eyes, just settle down, kind of uh, practice that yoga breathing. Inhale, tummy, ribs out, exhale, tummy in when you're seated. And uh, just kind of feel yourself relaxing, being so relaxed that you just, all you can focus on is your breath in and out. So give that a try, kind of just feel yourself breathing here over and over again. Now, if you like, add in a focus phrase. When you inhale, think inhale. When you exhale, think exhale. Or some people like hello, goodbye, or inhale, think soft, exhale, think tummy, or from our yoga classes, so and home. Uh, again, try to lengthen out the breath with that focus phrase. Go ahead and keep in track of your time here. So just relax. Uh, your focus will drift. You just go, oops, monkey mind, come right back to what you feel as you feel it. There we go. And then just, if you like, you're focusing on your breathing in and out. Add one of those focus phrases if you like. Go ahead. And relax. Oh, 
open your eyes, just shake everything out. Let's do just a couple more rolls, shoulder rolls here, tongue and jaw soft. All right, just sit comfortably, but tongue and jaw soft, drop your chin across your chest. So tall, just a nice shallow scoop right through here. And breathe. Got just a couple more stretches, and I'll call my cameraman back in here. And again, uh, these are great to do every day. I, I broke my wrist a couple of years ago. I actually rehabbed my wrist using these uh, joints and glands exercises and a little bit of weight work. Uh, and it worked very nicely. I healed very quickly. I did these about four times a day in addition to uh, teaching. All right. So I was really making sure uh, that uh, the energy was kept flowing in the area that needed to heal. Now back to the center, all right? Tongue and jaw stay soft, chin level. Inhale, lift up, back of the neck, squeeze like you're squeezing a big fit carrot and exhale and pull down. But don't get your teeth or chicken or stick your tongue out or your chin out, all right? So try it again, inhale, lift up. Exhale, squeeze, pull down, the tall. Do one more time, inhale, lift up. Back of the neck, squeeze, pull down. Now reverse it, middle of your back, squeeze, inhale, lift up. And just exhale, drop down, but don't put your teeth, don't drop your chin. All right, we want to work those muscles there. Squeeze in the middle of your back, inhale, lift up. So you'll just pull things down, but sit tall. Try it again, middle of your back, squeeze, inhale, lift up. So just drop everything down, shake things out a little bit, just as you're seated, please. All right, you're going to take your opposite hand and put it on the outside of the leg there. And the other hand can hold onto your chair. Whatever you want to do here for a nice spinal twist to finish it off here. Inhale, exhale, press, twist, turn. Just let the chin gently revolve around. If you like, try it again. Inhale, exhale, press, twist, turn. You can pull yourself along with the hand along the back of your chair if you want. It should be good. Try it again. Inhale, exhale, press, twist, turn. Just let it unfold. You're not jerking anything along. You're not pulling. You're not straining ever. Now come back to the center and shake your hands out. Just the opposite hand on the opposite leg there and the other hand behind. And give a good stretch on this side, whatever it is, which is going to be different and that's perfectly normal. Inhale, exhale, just kind of press, twist, turn. But again, pull along the back of the chair. If you like, do it again. Inhale, exhale, press, twist, turn. And let's do it again. Inhale, exhale, press, twist, turn. And back to the center and just shake things out. And give yourself a nice hug. You did your joints and glands for today. Yay. So I'm going to get my camera person right back in here. And we're all done. Thank you for joining us. And again, these are great to do every day. All right. Any questions? Just uh, let us know here at the uh, Senior Center. And we're happy to, uh, you know, uh, this is what we do in my yoga classes, my Tai Chi classes. Uh, people love them. So thank you for joining us.